Welcome back to CryptoDynamics, the smallest cryptocurrency channel in all the interwebs. Today we're gonna talk about PancakeSwap. What's happening right now, it's actually mind-blowing. This is one of the most important videos that I have done so far. We have a new pattern to talk about. Here's a quick glance at my only K portfolio sitting at $22,400. I had initially invested $31,500. I am down $9,000, which is approximately 28% of my position with an average price of $20.01. I have been buying PancakeSwap for a while now. I bought at 40 bucks. I'm gonna admit it. This was over a year ago. I didn't know as much as I do. Now things move really fast in cryptocurrencies. I have kept dollar cost averaging. I only bought a little bit at 40, then I bought more at like 20, 15, and even $12. When I created this portfolio, I was actually a couple of thousand dollars in profit. So this portfolio was up to almost $40,000. We're now down to about $22,000. Most people see this and they see terror, fear. They feel naked. And afraid but I'm just chilling here I don't care that we have so much volatility in the immediate short term because I have made a deal with the devil I knew this was going to be like this so I'm not gonna act like I didn't know besides I am also earning some good passive income when we go to the pancake swap pools they're currently paying out about a 78% APY that's obviously very good for a top 100 coin and this is how much I am earning on a monthly basis, $1,088, which is approximately 76 cakes and almost 5% of my total position, meaning that every month that goes by, I have almost 5% more cakes in my wallet that is truly powerful when it comes to compounding they have recently raised the apy a little bit from about 73 percent up to 78 and a half you guys need to be aware that most people getting into cryptocurrencies they're really not aware of what this automatic market makers like pancake swap do in reality it did take me a couple of weeks and some research to finally understand what it is that these protocols are about. I have been accumulating that passive income and increasing my position so that when in the future we get a bunch of new people, so to speak, dumb money coming into the market, they will be willing to pay high prices for something they don't understand, just like I did a year ago. I'm just chilling here, waiting and increasing my position by the day. Pancake swap on the weekly time frame. Make sure to watch the technical analysis part of this video this is going to be the most important part look I could just rant on and on all day about whatever it is I think about pancake swap technical analysis it's so important because it tells you what the investors in this specific asset have been doing this is the weekly time frame pancake swap is trading below my white line which is the 20 moving average one of the most popular moving averages we're well below it we're also below the 50 moving average which is even more powerful than the 20 moving average make sure to get this in your head this is vital when most people try to learn about technical analysis trading and investing it's very easy to get caught up with the wrong idea in this case the idea is most people think they should be buying the asset when it goes above certain moving average like it did here but the reality is that you should actually do the opposite you should buy the asset when we're actually below important moving averages because what that tells you is that you're getting something at a price which is below the norm within a given time frame and so that is what we have here we're slightly below the 50 moving average in my opinion these are dumpster diving deals some people what they see is a dumpster on fire but if you're actually getting into the right mindset you might shift your thinking and start to see some dumpster diving cheap deals usually we do see a bounce 50 50 moving average this is now the daily 
time frame and I have multiple moving averages. White is 20, blue is 50, red is 128 and purple is 200. As you can see, we are below all four moving averages. Now maybe most people would run for the hills right at this point, but in actuality, if we look to the past, the best deals anyone could have ever bought were when the price was trading below these moving averages. Below a moving average pretty much means cheap entry. We're about to get to the most crucial part of this video. You have to learn this, I promise you. This will make you money in the future if you stick around, if you actually submerge yourself into the world of investing. This is the four hour time frame. The price is once again above the 20 moving average and trying to get above the 50 moving average. We've had a small W on the four hour time frame at a point of support. So this is indeed looking healthy in the immediate short term. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. You know, I am the biggest pancake swap back holder. And so I like to stay on top of the chart. In my previous videos, I've talked about this blue symmetrical triangle and how we had broken it and we needed to get a confirmation in order to go higher towards a $50 price target. But now things have changed. Price action is constantly evolving. I drew a new symmetrical triangle. This is the one in yellow. There's one crucial difference here. This is small but significant. My points of support for the blue triangle were only the bodies of all of these candles. I never used the wicks, which are these thin lines going all the way down. For this new yellow triangle, I did actually use the candle wicks. You can see we have some support here, 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 here as well, and we are now getting some support over here. After redrawing this pattern, I've come to the conclusion that this is the new triangle and we have to break this triangle once again. This is normal. This doesn't mean that I've done a horrible job at technical analysis. This is something that day traders face all the time. Assuming we get a breakout of this triangle around this area, we would have a price target of approximately $45. Not much of a difference when compared to the other triangle. And if you know what a triangle is, you should also know that we're probably going to trade something like this until eventually we see a decisive breakout, which obviously I think we're bullish. Bitcoin is once again trying to get back above that $60,000 level. Most people say pancake swap is dead. What I have to say to those people is your visual perception is dead. The problem is not pancake swap, but you. And that is something you can fix, thankfully. Now, some points of support and resistance to have in mind. We have a lot of support around the $9 price level. This was support in the past when we had the Bitcoin flash crash earlier this year. We also have some resistance, right? Because we're currently below this price level, $18. You can see this was a very strong support level around here. I don't think PancakeSwap can go much lower. We could always have a flash crash. What I'm trying to say is that I don't think we are gonna have price consolidation way below these current prices. This is once again the Fibonacci retracement tool on the weekly time frame. We can get a lot of information out of this. If this is your first time seeing this analytic tool, you better learn about it and add it to your tool belt. The all time high for PancakeSwap is approximately $44 and we did go as low as $9.30. So when we take into account this move from $44 to $9, what we can see is that PancakeSwap has had a correction of nearly 95%. This doesn't mean PancakeSwap has corrected by 95% throughout the whole price history, but only when we take into account the price level of $44 and $9. Coming down to about $14.21, that's like I said, nearly a 95% correction within this measured Fibonacci retracement. 
I'm gonna tell you what professional traders are doing right now. They are loading, okay? In the meantime, you're scared, but they're loading up. They're gonna sell these coins back to you when you start feeling euphoric once again and buy PancakeSwap at $50. You don't wanna be that guy. This is once again the Fibonacci extension tool, but this time I'm using it to predict future price targets and not points of support. What I do in this case is I measure from about $44 to nine dollars the next price target is forty four dollars that is pretty much my price target out of this symmetrical triangle so now we have two indicators pointing towards the same price target but who gets excited about forty five dollars i sure don't so i'm gonna show you the price targets for pancake swap that i'm actually waiting for these are the price targets where i plan to sell. Most people don't understand how it is that we can get to such high prices. There's only one answer to that question. The answer is market capitalizations. Every asset has only so much money invested in it. The more money there is invested in the given asset, the more difficult it is for that asset to appreciate because we need more and more money to make it move. Something like Pancake swap, even though it's not a micro cap or even a small cap, sitting at $3 billion, we still have headroom to make great gains. Uniswap hit like $30 billion not long ago. Based on that fact alone, if Pancake Swap was to match the market capitalization of Uniswap, it would have to go up a 10x. I am obviously very optimistic about Pancake Swap, even when we're having these dips. The price target that comes after $45 is going to be $65. After that, we have $100, $135, and ultimately $157 at the 423 extension level. Level. This is not the final price prediction, but more of a conservative high likelihood prediction. If you have been thinking about selling pancake swap, I suggest you sit on your hands. And if you have been thinking about buying some, get up and get some. Pancake swap right now has a proposal to raise the APY yield on the pancake swap automatic pool if you're holding any pancake swap at all in your wallet you can go onto the pancake swap protocol and cast your vote either you do support or you don't support the apy increase in my opinion i believe if we get an apy increase that would incentivize new investors to buy pancake swap and stake it which in return would cause the pancake swap tokens price to come up because there would be more demand as opposed to what some people think that the issue with pancake swap is too high of inflation i don't think that is the problem because at the end of the day in order to see higher prices we need to see a higher volume of buyers and the only thing that would make that happen I think is increasing the APY. You must remember, here you get the most alpha and hardcore technical analysis on your favorite altcoin. If this is something you enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to the channel to see more of this valuable content. And I'll see you guys on the next PancakeSwap update.